side. I've got a Zim to stop. After 50 freaking years of signing Bring Back Invader Zim petitions and suppressing my feelings towards my little sister, Invader Zim is back in an hour long movie. This is 2019's Enter the Florpus on Netflix. I wore this GERD t shirt for the occasion. Yes, that is an official t shirt, and that's just cheese on them, okay? Shush. In terms of Nickelodeon revivals, Rocco and Hey Arnold felt about the same, but Invader Zim takes everything you love about it and cranks it up to as high as it possibly can get. It's like someone watched Scott Pilgrim fully coolly and Dead Leaves on repeat. Have you never seen Zim before? Who cares? Just watch it. You don't need prior knowledge for any of this. Enter the Florpus is on maximum overdrive. Subtlety does not exist in this universe. As you know, tomorrow is peace day, and nobody is as excited for the big celebration as I am. I am not scientifically possible! So the old series was about Zim, an alien trying to take over the Earth. The only one stopping him besides his own incompetence is Dib, a conspiracy nut who probably would be a flat earther. On a somewhat related note, I just want to say that back in college, they used to call me Dib because I called dibs on that sweet ass! This Florpus movie is basically that. It's some of the funniest I've seen from a cartoon, but to be honest, it kind of did get grating having every scene involve yelling or exploding. Let me do one! <laughs> That's kind of the problem with stretching out a 30 minute TV show. The humor can feel one note at times, but I still loved it. Maybe I would have found it less obnoxious if I was, you know, maybe a teen girl who just got off watching Home of the Squirrel on New Guys on Com while sending them bring back invaders and petition Ram Jack Scouts and hooding habit tree print tube socks perched from Hot Topic during Emily the Strange buy one get one 50% off sale where she discovered serrated rose from slave labor graphics comics while her overbearing but loving father restricts her from going to the My Chemical Romance slash Limp Biscuit concert with a five years old and her boyfriend that constantly IMs on store stolen Pom and Z comic art or fiction. 6K on America online free trial to on my speech.com with a top 8 consumer of Tim Burton, Jack Sparrow, Eminem, Jesus Christ, and whether Angsty Teen Man is a hit new thing in Disney Adventures magazine and spends all day filling out what Kingdom Hearts character are you quiz only to complain she didn't get Rico in his neighborhood to watch the 2003 MTV Music Awards because her deadbeat older brother is always hogging the living room TV playing Tony Hawk's Underground on his Halo Edition transparent green Xbox using a third party Mad Cat's airflow controller with a busted analog stick constantly to the right making anti-Semitic remarks on how Eric stole his wicked big twist over the helicopter in Hawaii footage! <laughs> You know what I mean? Those kind of girls. Enter the Forpus may get annoying, but there were a few times that it actually got sentimental. It doesn't dwell too much on it, but it was effective. I kind of wanted a little more of it, to be honest. The original series never really did that, nor did it have this art style. Here comes a redesign. I thought I would miss the dark, jagged look of the old show as my art was heavily influenced by it. Yet, I love this new rounder flair. The coloring in the nighttime sequences is as good as Zim has ever looked. It's gorgeous. But why the new art style, you may ask and blame on an overpriced college? Well, creator Jonan Vasquez's art has completely changed over the years. You can see that in the comics, which this resembles. Florpus looks amazing, but I can't lie, some moments seem like janky flash or Toon Boom animation, and a couple of errors stuck out on my first watch. Though, I can forgive it with how great it looks. Invader Zim Enter the Florpus may feel like an extended episode to some, but it's a fucking insane extended episode that pulls out all the stops. I gotta say, this is one of my new favorite movies based on a cartoon. Was it worth the wait? Maybe so. No, it was not, dipshit. <laughs> Now, from Nicktoons Animation Studio, it's time for Nicktoons Caught on Tape. For more Nicktoons Caught on Tape, keep watching Nick. They'll make your jaw drop.